hey, I wanted to take an opportunity to make a short video where I'm gonna show you how I will have approached trying to answer the problem uh, that we had today in the simulacrum. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm getting into OWL. I'm gonna go to our assignments where I'm gonna find out, uh, oh, I'm gonna go to the assignments and here is the simulacrum, which I can see it. Uh, one of the things it has, it's uh, this PDF. So now I have the PDF here where I'm like reading all the different instructions. Let me fast forward and assume that I have already read them. And it says that the first thing I should do is open a Word document or other text editor. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come to this other desktop. I'm gonna open Word. That might take a moment. Okay, so there we go. So I have now opened a Word document and it says here that the first thing I should do is write my name at the top in bold letters. So I'm actually gonna go here, I'm gonna put bold, I'm gonna increase uh, a little bit, and I'm gonna write Sergio Ocampo Diaz. And here I'm gonna write econ 2221. Okay, now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take the bold out, I'm gonna go down to a more normal looking so 12 seems to be a good font okay then it says save the document as indicated in the instruction so last name name 2221 test so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to save it in my desktop i'm going to save it as ocampo sergio 2221 test and i have saved it okay next thing i need to do is i need to do some graphing so I'm actually gonna go back to bold and I'm gonna go up a bit here and I'm gonna write graphing, okay? And then I know I need to graph a couple things. And so this is gonna be 2A. And I know that later I'm gonna have to include a 2B, okay? But I'm gonna leave the graphing for later because that I'm gonna do uh, on a separate file, okay? Then it says uh, writing. So I know that I'm gonna have an extra one and I know that a new one has to be a new section, a new part has to be in a different page. So I start a new page. This one says writing. Okay, I don't need this 20 anymore. So I'm gonna reduce it to 12 and I'm gonna take out the bolt. And it says here, consider an economy that operates for one period, yabba yabba, and I need to define an equilibrium for this economy. Okay, so the first thing when we define equilibrium is we have to say what it is. So an equilibrium is a set of quantities and prices, and I'm leaving blank exactly what they are, such that taking as given a certain list of variables, the following things happen. And so I know it's gonna be a list, so I'm gonna start the list. The first thing is that taking W as given, so I'm looking here at my consumer. It's gonna take W as given, R as given, pi as given, and T as given, okay? W, R, pi, and T as given. The consumer chooses, and then I know I only need to choose CNN, okay, CNN, to maximize utility and we have said that in the past that this is enough because we don't really need to write down the mathematical problem that this involves but i can subject to its budget constraint okay but i can go further and kind of say okay what's that problem i want to maximize choosing c and n and here we see that we don't really need to do all the mathematical notation i want to maximize u of c and n and I'm subject to C being less than or equal. That's what I wrote there. No, I wrote an equal. Okay, so C being equal to W times N plus R times K minus pi, sorry, plus pi minus T. Okay, so we're done. Then here I wanna say taking W, R, Z, as given, and as you have said here, as given, and now I'm gonna say the firm 
chooses n, we'll put a d there, and capital demand to maximize profits. Okay, and we don't have to say it, but we can actually do it here. So what I want is to maximize choosing KD and ND, and I want to maximize profits, pi, which are equal to Z. So I'm here just like copying this, F of KD comma ND minus W ND minus R KD. And if we want, we can even like write with these powers, okay. And so we have our second point. And then we have our third point, which is gonna be the government chooses taxes to balance the budget. And that means that T equal G, taking G as given, okay? And then finally, prices are such that market's clear. And that's gonna mean that the labor market is clearing. So N is equal to ND. KD, it's equal to K, which is the amount of capital that the consumer has. And actually that amount of capital is taken as given by the consumer. Nobody's choosing it, okay? So it's taken as given by the consumer. And I have another market. Nope, that's it. That's all the markets I have. I, I have the third market, which is the goods market, which is gonna be Y, which is Z of F of K and N has to be equal to consumption, which is the only good that there is uh, here, plus government spending. So those are my three markets. Now I can go back and look at my quantities. So I have Z, I have N, I have ND, I have KD, I have pi, I have T, I have some prices, W and R, and I taking as given Z, I'm taking as given G, and I'm taking a given K, and I'm just checking here, and it seems like that is all. So now I've done with this, 